everyone i am gurleen i hope you're doing well in today's video we'll be discussing the trade plan for the weekly expiry that is april 6th 2023 for nifty and bank nifty and a few select stocks wherein good risk to reward opportunities are growing up so be sure to stick around till the end of the video and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and do ring the notification bell so that you never miss an update right before we start all eyes are on the rbi as we have the monetary policy statement by the governor of rbi at 10 am tomorrow followed by the press conference at 12 pm more or less the market is expecting a 25 basis point hike and it might as well be priced in so let's see what the day holds ahead so without any further ado let's look at the technical angle starting with nifty 50 Here on the daily chart of Nifty you can see that after a flat opening the index closed at the highs of the day. You can also observe how Nifty reversed from the harmonic potential reversal level of 16991 and we also saw a lot of volatility around the lows but it's the way of the markets. And as we discussed in the last video that according to this fresh harmonic pattern which was triggered above 17207 the targets for nifty happened to be at 17590 and 17690 so it seems that there's only little room for nifty on the upside as of now another interesting point is that nifty is hanging at the edge of the falling channel also we are not out of the woods yet but the maximum downside looks capped at the levels of about 16828 so what's the way ahead for the markets to understand that let's take a look at the early time frame so we discussed in the last week that long bets can be placed above the levels of 17145 to 17200 and that setup has been quite rewarding now moving forward you can see the vertical rise and as we know that the market never moves in a straight line so we might be in for a temporary pause in the trend from this zone of 17590 to 17690 as it's also a potential harmonic reversal zone and as we also have an event lined up so you might as well ask that what if the upside move gets extended so in that case the maximum upside that i'll be anticipating in the index will be at the level of 17925 but that's a conditional bet and on a larger degree also at the current levels if you see fresh long positions do not look very favorable from the risk to reward point of view and you'll only get stuck at the highs so it's time to be on the cautious front So what can happen is that Nifty might consolidate within this wide range and we might as well see Nifty catching up with the moving averages. So these moving averages at the levels of 17401 and 17289 can be considered as the immediate supports for the index. On the 15 minute time frame as soon as Nifty broke this opening range on the upside we saw a trending move in the index and we discussed in the last videos that how to trade such ORB setups with low risk and high reward we have already discussed the support levels for the index at 17401 and 17289 and the resistance is placed at 17590 followed by 17690 Now let's move to Bank Nifty. On the daily chart you can see that Bank Nifty reclaimed the 41000 mark as we discussed in the last video and we are close to the harmonic target of 41332. Now once again the question comes up is it a pullback or a trend reversal? Now what's really important at this point is that whether or not Bank Nifty will be able to cross the previous highs and if yes then will we see a structural higher high or higher low from here we are yet to find out so will not really be ruling out the worst case scenario but you can refer to the recent low of 39 38613 as the maximum downside level for now on the early chart you can see that bank nifty traded within a narrow range and here i do think that it can really be a good intraday trading opportunity if the index opens on a flat note within this range of 40802 and 41000 71 but we'll discuss this possibility in a few moments on a 15 minute chart but first let's start here the upside target for bank nifty is placed at 41332 and from the current levels fresh positional long should consider the risk 
as we have seen a vertical up move so a cool off or a pull back towards the moving averages cannot be ruled out over here so you can take into account the moving averages at the levels of 40693 followed by 40387 as the immediate supports for bank nifty and if you've already built positional longs then it's better or it's suitable for you to trail them on the 15 minutes chart in the last video as well we discussed with the help of an example to trade an inside bar or an orb setup so let's take a look at it again if we see a flat opening within this range of 40802 and 41071 then what should be the approach so if we see a breakout at the high of 41071 then the lower end of the range can be considered as an invalidation mark and a maximum target of 41332 can be looked at in case of a breakdown over here at this low of 40802 the upper band can be considered as an invalidation mark and the lower targets can be looked at but do remember that this setup will only be valid if the index opened within the mentioned range now for your reference the support for bank nifty is placed at 40693 followed by 40387 and the resistance is placed at 41095 followed by 41332 now let's move to stocks Let's start with the update on HDFC Bank. So as discussed in one of the videos posted in the last week, HDFC Bank was a buy and I was expecting it to test the levels of 1632 on the upside which it did. But if we also take a closer look at the chart, HDFC Bank showed much more resilience and closed at the highs with a gain of almost 2.7% in validating this harmonic potential reversal zone. So is there still some steam left in HDFC Bank? Well, looking at the momentum, it's possible that HDFC Bank can still test the levels of about sixteen hundred seventy-six on the upside, and at a larger degree, it can also test the levels of about seventeen hundred sixteen. But now would not be a good time to place long bets in the stock as it has already come a long way. So for those of you who are already in, it's best to trail the gains. The next one is Bajaj Finance. Here you can see that Bajaj Finance is trading below the moving averages and today it has registered a candlestick with a long upper wick which simply means that selling pressure is coming in. Also if we take a look that Bajaj Finance is forming a double bottom on the daily chart. Well, as of now it's too early to call it a double bottom as it will only be confirmed above this neckline. which is placed at the levels of 5900 now this simply means that if bajaj finance crosses this neckline along with the moving averages which is which are almost placed around the same levels then we can see good momentum coming in in this counter and a probable upside of 6170 can be seen initially next on the list is lnt On the daily chart you can see that LNT had been consolidating within a wide range for over 3 months now and today it has registered a breakout candle of about 4%. Though on the hourly chart LNT looks a little extended from the moving averages but in case we see a low volume pullback towards the levels of 2200 at least then a favorable long opportunity can be looked at though it's a wait and watch kind of a setup but you can keep LNT on your watch list for the week so the last one is the update on HCL tech we discussed HCL tech as well in one of the videos posted in the last week and the stock reversed nearly from the harmonic potential reversal zone with a buffer of few points and i was expecting an upside of 1068 to 1098 in this counter and the targets have been achieved here as well and today we've also seen decent gains in the it names so we'll definitely take a look at those as well and on that note it's gurleen signing off until we meet again have a good time